Hi everyone. This is a live demonstration of FPGA based arbitrary waveform generator. Now as you can see there is an LCD display at the top and below that there is an uh, there's a keypad and to the left you can see the potentiometer which is used for adjusting the voltage and to the right you can see the rs232 interface which is used for inputting the arbitrary wave now as soon as we switch the power supply on we can see the change in the lcd display and you can see the question enter frequency being asked and using this keypad one can enter the frequency now for example i'm entering here to kilohertz now in order to progress into the next stage we need to press either hertz or kilohertz here now as soon as i press this kilohertz button the lcd display changes again and the wave has been selected as a sign now and the frequency as i entered earlier has been set to 2 kilohertz now as you can see in the cro there that's the output sine wave that is being generated and uh, moving on to the keypad again, we have this wave up and wave down button. Now when we press this wave up button, you can see that the sine wave changes to triangular wave. And on the CRO, we can see that the wave has been changed to triangular. And coming back to the LCD display again, we can use this wave up button to change to square wave. And uh, incidentally, uh, we can see the square wave being generated on CRO. Now again, if we press the wave up button, it changes to positive RAM and at the same time on the CRO we can see the positive RAM being generated and of course uh, once again pressing it it changes it to negative RAM and on the CRO we can see the negative RAM signal and uh, the next one is the arbitrary wave now in order to once you change to arbitrary wave we are again using this button you can see the uh, CRO display right now being an empty thing and now in order to input the arbitrary wave we are using a simulink simulink for inputting now we have created a model here and once we start running the simulation we can see that uh, there you can see that play button which is the simulation button and once uh, once the play button is being pressed you can uh, yeah okay so we are gonna press the play button now. now as soon as we press the play button you can see the wave slowly being generated here and uh, once we can now we can adjust the waveform and as you can see there there's uh, an average waveform structure the waveform being generated there and uh, that's it for the presentation thank you for watching see you <laughs>